Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Nihao. Hola. Hello. Banjur. Namaste. Konnichiwa. Marhaba. Today I'm going to introduce you to my three new functions. They are arc.primes, arc.primes and art.primes. All of these three functions are for the same purpose. That is you can find prime numbers with these functions. In my last video, I shared with you my function about prime numbers, but that function was about telling you whether a given number is a prime or not. But these three functions are different from that function because here you can give a series of numbers to these functions and all of these three functions will pick the prime numbers from the given series of numbers. Among these, the first function that is arc.primes its output will be the given numbers with true false beneath the numbers if the number given is a prime you will see a true beneath it and if it is a composite number there will be false beneath it the second function r dot primes will only pick the prime numbers out of a given series of numbers the same is the case with the third function it will also pick prime numbers and will give you them in the output removing the composite numbers from them but the difference between the second and the third function is that the third function is an intelligent one and it depends on these two functions outputs actually you can train this function you can make it more efficient so as much as you train this function it will become more and more efficient and will take less time to pick out prime numbers from the given list of numbers now let me show you the codes for these functions the first functions code is here arc.primes here is the second function this is the code you can write it down on your notebook And this is the last function art.primes. And here is the code. So you need to type all these functions in your editor, and your editor can be opened by file, new file, and R script. Once you open your editor, then just type this function in your editor, then select the function, hold control and press enter. Now you can use this function in your R Studio. Let's try all these functions one by one. First, arg.primes. The input of this function may be a single number, for example, 17. It will tell you that it's a prime number. Let's check a non-prime number, that is a composite number. It will give you that it is not a prime number because it shows false with 18. Now let's try a series of numbers. To give a series of numbers you will have to use colon between two numbers 1 colon 100 so it will tell you about each number from 1 to 100 whether it is a prime number or composite number so this is the output and beneath each number you can see false true for example 1 is false that is it is not a prime number 2 is a true and it's a prime number 3 is prime 4 is a composite 5 is prime similarly 6 and up till 100 97 is the last prime number in this series now let's run another function first you will have to type this function the second function in your r studio editor then you will have to select this function and then while holding control press enter this second function is also usable you can use it what's the second function this is arc.primes here you will have to give a series of numbers to this function and it will pick the prime numbers out of that series for example 1 colon 100 it will print out only the prime numbers out of this series that is from 1 to 100 and these are the prime numbers 2 3 5 7 11 etc if you are not giving a series of numbers and you want to give discrete numbers then we will have to use c function for example, arc dot primes c of like 2, 5, 8, 10, 22, 97, etc. And you want to point out prime numbers from amongst these numbers. So it will pick prime numbers and it will tell you that 2, 5, and 97 are prime numbers out of this given list. 
now let's come towards third function and let's try it first type it in your R studio editor and then select this function and then while holding control press enter and then you can use this function the name of the function is art dot but you cannot use this function for the first time because it will need an object called prime dot numbers you will have to create that object that is prime dot numbers before running this third function because that prime dot function works like a training object for this third function as i have already told you that this function can be trained when you first run it it will be like a newborn baby and it will not be able to do anything for you first you will have to teach this function so how to teach this function first you will have to run the second function that is arc dot friends like from 1 to 100 and store the output of this file in a container that is the container name must be prime dot numbers so here remember that this container must always be prime dot numbers here you are creating a list of prime numbers from 1 to 100 and this function as we already saw and it will pick out of this list that is from 1 to 100 and those prime numbers will be saved in this prime dot numbers object and this object will then train the third function so now let's run this function and now you can run the third function as you can see in the coding of the third function we have used prime dot numbers object here you can also see prime dot numbers so it requires an object you must have an object called prime dot numbers otherwise this function will not work so now we have a prime dot numbers object and that object contains a vector of prime numbers from 2 to 97 now you can run your art dot primes like from 1 to 1000 so it will pick prime numbers from the series of 1 to 1000 okay now store the output of the same function that is the third function in an object called prime dot numbers the same object in which we store the value of the second function once you store the values of the second function in a prime dot numbers then you do not need the second function for this odd dot primes that is the third function you only need that for the first time so for the second time you can use this the same function to create prime dot numbers object now it will become further efficient because this prime dot numbers object will have a series of prime numbers from one to thousand so now let's run this now you can further train it prime dot numbers is equal to art dot primes let's train it further one two for the first time when you find numbers from one to point one million it will take some time but when you run the same function for the second time it will take very short time as you will see now look this is taking time to find the prime numbers between 1 and 1 million yes the output is ready now as you saw it took a long time to pick out prime numbers in between 1 and 1 million now let's rerun the same function for the same series of numbers. It will take a lot less time now because it has been trained now. So art dot primes from one to one million. Look, the output is ready in one or two seconds now. So the bigger the series of prime dot numbers, the more you put prime numbers in the prime dot numbers object, the more your third function will be efficient and trained and intelligent. Okay, these were all the three functions and you have saw the code as well. Now I'm telling you about my another function which I'm working on these days, but it's not complete yet. But let me show you that. I have created several files in my editor one is this and I have tried this I pick R this one is I pick 2 I pick 3 and I pick 4 
but the code contained in this file is the latest one and is more efficient than this IUPEC, IUPEC 3 and IUPEC 4. The function I'm going to create now is the function that will draw a structure for a given IUPEC name. As you can see, here is the IUPEC name. 7 amino 8 chloro 8 comma 9 dimethyl etc if you give an iupic name in this format it will draw the structure of that name for you let me show you the output of this raw file although it's not complete and i am working on it inshallah soon i will complete this function and will share with you now let's select this code and run it and see what its output is so this is the output of this code as you can see it has drawn a structure but still there are several problems in this uh, structural formula which i am going to correct those problems so that was all for today thank you very much for watching my videos and inshallah next time i will appear with a new function and with a new video so till then bye